Hi everybody, let's finish up the face. I have done my face prep with all the cleansers, toner, moisturizers, and serum, and then I put on my foundation, my Savvy Minerals Foundation, which was Warm 3 and Warm 2 combined. I put on my, I do believe you're, I'm blushing, um, blush right on the apples of my cheeks. I put on my eyeshadows and I showed you that in a previous video and then I finished my eyes with my brows, my eyeliner, and my mascara. So the last thing, the last couple of things I would be doing, one I could do the veil all over my face just for a finishing look. Um, I can do that and then I use your big fat fluffy brush. Sorry, I had to move back there to get it. Um, I can do that really fast. Just tap a little bit of the veil. I do not use much. Um, like seriously, not much at all. That much. Not much at all, if you can see that. Big fluffy brush. I call this therapy brush because I love it. And I, I know this is called diamond dust with the, in the veil. I call it my, Dix, my uh, magic fairy dust. Um, and then you just do that all over your face. It's just a nice finish. It kind of just tones everything down and brings it together and gives you that great, great finish. and gives you a nice little shimmer on your face. It's beautiful and that brush feels fantastic. So I hope you're getting your Savvy Minerals brushes. That is your veil brush. Okay, and then the last step, final step, would be your lips. Um, I went ahead and put a little bit of the lipstick on, but I'm going to go ahead and show you again. Um, I love the Savvy Minerals lipstick today. I'm using Daydream because I just wanted to go with a very neutral look. Uh, press it out, and you'll see that it's already kind of flattened on one side and a little bit rounded, but comes to a point. See that? Okay, I'm going to use that flattened part first, and I'm going to define that that nice peak at the top of my lips that everybody has. I define that first and then I actually use the back side to go down and then I use that flat side again and then just classically rub your lips together. But I do try to cover the entire lip all the way into the corners and everything. There are lip brushes that you can use um, to do some of that if you want because you can really get defined. I've seen people using the like combinations of some of the Savvy Minerals and they've used like Passionate or Multitasker and Passionate and they'll do a lip liner and then do the darker um, like maybe Uptown Girl lipstick. I've seen people use foiling the lipsticks, I mean the, sorry, foiling the minerals and putting them right on their lips and then just putting the lip gloss on. So today I'm using the, I think it's Abundant or Embrace. I'm trying to remember which one this one is. Ah, it's the pinker one, sorry. And then I'm gonna do basically the same thing. I'm just covering my lower lips. I don't have a, I didn't line them today. I'm doing this very simply. And define that, that peak right at the top. And then you might even go like this. You've seen people do that. That's to really make sure that that lipstick is right in and on and brings that down, so. There's the finished look. I'm ready to walk out the door. I've got my lips on too, as some as some people will call it. Um, I hope that helps you. I hope all these steps and broken down like that will help you take each part and look at it, um, especially if you've got the foundation down but you wanted a different look for your eyes. I showed you one. There'll be others that we can show you. Um, just really fast and simple. Didn't take me long to do this. Took me longer to start and stop the videos, but um, I hope that helps and I hope that uh, you will let us know if you have any questions and sign up for those one-on-one um, -on -one sessions for next month in September. So thanks.